time for a reef update, February 2017. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again and coming at you today with an update on the reef tank. Um, haven't done one for a few months so I thought I would kind of bring you up to date. Um, some things are doing good, other things not so good. Um, but on most of the things that aren't doing good, I've seemed to have found the problem and should be able to correct it. So uh, we'll just kind of get started here. Um, as you can see, some of these corals here appear to be dead or else closed up. Some are dead, I think, and some are just closed up. But I was trying to figure out what was going on um, with that. And there may have been a few causes, but the main cause was that I wasn't um, keeping up with uh, the KH and the calcium. Um, and uh, those numbers both got way too low. Um, kind of what was going on was my dosing pump, especially on the KH, I use reef carbonate. And it had gotten clogged. Uh, the line so it wasn't pumping anything into the tank so beware with that if you are using a dosing pump reef carbonate will kind of start to build up sometimes it can build up on the end of the line that goes into your display uh, otherwise it can build up anywhere along the way I suppose and uh, and that can stop um, stop it from coming in another thing too especially on a nano tank is if you get any type of air bubbles in there, that may completely um, take away a dose or two um, at any given time because the doses are so small that if there's an air bubble in there, it's just going to push air out and then by the time, because it's just, it's like a couple seconds only that that it pushes uh, any fluid through and so if there's an air bubble, you may not get any, any chemicals into the tank. So um, I'm keeping a better track on the dosing pump. Um, what, what had happened, uh, another thing that had happened was, um, and this has happened to me twice now, Let's see if I can get a light on down here. The head on my um, reef carbonate um, uh, line um, has gotten clogged up from, from reef carbonate buildup as well, and so I've had to replace it. And this time I didn't notice that the head was bad, and uh, so therefore it hadn't been dosing for who knows how long. Um, on top of all that, um, I have, for the first part of this year so far, most of January, I, on Christmas Day I got sick um, with a real bad cold, just pretty much had me laid up for almost two weeks. Then I went on vacation, went on an awesome uh, cruise in the Caribbean. Last day of that I got sick again and for another couple of weeks was pretty much uh, out of commission. So. Um, needless to say, this tank, and all my tanks for that matter, got a little neglected. But anyway, hopefully we're back on track. And since I've um, been, um, since the dosing pump's been working right again, and I've been doing some additional manual dosing as well to try to get those numbers up, um, some of the corals that had closed up are starting to open up, and the ones that had retracted a, lo a lot are starting to get more, like this one for example here. Um, this had gone, it was still open, but it was probably more like this head above it. So um, things are progressing. These these ones up here, these little heads were um, closed, now they're opening. This coral up here um, is partially open on some of the heads. So, um, but I think my torch coral and my Duncan and a couple others completely died, so I'm going to be getting more um, uh, or something similar. Um, so anyway, that's the story with that. All the livestock in here, fish-wise, is doing great. Um, didn't affect any of that. Uh, the bubble corals are not doing very well. Uh, green star polyps are doing great. You can see the big clump here, like always. I've got another little rock where I've um, moved a little bit to to start. The ones that a couple months ago that I put, just those were just plugs. Um, on the back, you can see this one right here is getting huge, the other one's getting pretty big, and then this one over here is, is looking pretty nice too. So those uh, will be used probably for a future project, but I'm not sure yet. 
Um, starting up on, or not starting, but up on top here, this guy's doing real well. I always forget what type of coral that is. Uh, if you know offhand, drop it in the comments for me. Uh, trumpet corals are doing decent. Um, all the zoas and pallies are doing fairly good for the most part. This guy right here has really been growing. Um, this one right here is looking nice. And then this one towards the upper back. I wish it wasn't back there, but what I had to do, my rocks kind of fell apart. And I had to put everything back together. And the only way I could get everything to kind of stay together was to switch around the rock that they were on and those had to be in the back so it's like putting together a puzzle it just doesn't work always um, so one one piece of advice I would give to anybody whenever you set up a, a reef make sure that you permanently attach the rocks to each other it's just not doing it for me has been such a headache um, and I'll never do it that way again I may even try to find a way to use some sort of adhesive. I don't know if it can be done with the corals still on um, and, and redo this structure. But anyway, um, just kind of take you through some of the other ones. Um, there's a cleaner skunk shrimp up there. This toadstool in the back isn't fully retracted now, but it's been doing real well. Um, I've got some of the, I don't know if you remember, but uh, the pulsing zinnia, I had cut them all out. And there are some that are starting to grow back, as you can see right here. Also up here. I would never, ever, ever in my life again um, have pulsing zinnia in a tank. They are the biggest nuisance coral in the world. Um, I would not even put them on a separate rock structure. Um, because I've seen in this tank where they... They've moved. I don't. People say they can't do it, but they've done it in this tank. So, um, the anemone's doing real well. He's kind of made his home back here now. Um, the clownfish host in there from time to time. Um, this, I think, it's a hammer coral back here. It's a little retracted right now, but it's been doing really well too. And then this is another one right here that was pretty much dead, or looked dead, closed up, I should say, and it's starting to kind of come back to life here, so that's promising. Got a little bit of bubble algae going on here. I don't, I forget the type of crab that I had in here that takes care of that, but I have not seen him in quite some time, so I'm assuming he's dead, so I'm going to probably get another one so I can, uh, get the bubble algae at bay before it really gets out of hand again. Um, probably going to get rid of this cardinal, pajama cardinal I should say up here. Um, otherwise all the fish and livestock are doing good. When I get rid of that PJ I'll probably um, add some sort of wrasse maybe, not quite sure, and call it good uh, as far as livestock for now in this tank. But. Yeah, that's about it. I guess I'm going to keep it short. Don't have a whole lot else to add right now. Um, but uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I post regular updates on my reef tank, all my freshwater tanks, and my shrimp tanks as well. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all that you subscribe. We're almost at 10,000 sub subscribers, so stay tuned. Um, and until next time, later.